You were so quiet. <laughs> Afraid to disturb the silence. It's my Simon and Garfunkel cover band. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> There's that enthusiasm we were wondering where it was. Let's try that again. Hello. Indeed. They talk funny over here. <laughs> we need to watch. Listen, listen. Hello. Hello. Yeah, see. <laughs> Sounds like those Mary Poppins kids. <laughs> Which is our. Oh, that won't translate. <laughs> oh, of course it will. That's my Wiggles cover band. Okay, it doesn't translate. <laughs> oh, it translated. It just wasn't funny. <laughs> Which is our Paul and Storm cover there band. There it is. Hi, everybody! Hi! We covered that, I know. We are Paul and Storm! Yay! <laughs> Jesus. Um, no, there's, there's a terrific hive mind thing happening here. Uh, do us a favor, by show of hands, how many of you have never seen us perform live before? Ooh. Yeah. All right, we're doing all how, the old, how, old jokes tonight. Yeah. <laughs> How many of you, by show of hands, have never even heard us before? Ooh, even better. Wow. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Basically, Jonathan asks us to come out for about 40 minutes to weed out the weaklings. <laughs> so those of you who remain at the end of this set, consider yourselves having paid the iron price. <laughs> so, uh, last survey question before the show proper gets started. Uh, how many of you out there would consider yourselves nerds? <laughs> okay, we're how in many, the right auditorium. <laughs> let, me, let me ask, uh, let me see if I can broaden the spectrum. Whether or not you would consider yourself one, how many of you would probably be called nerds by just about anybody else in the general population? A couple more hands, okay, at least you're an honest bunch. This first song uh, is designed to pander as directly and unabashedly as possible to the nerd fan base in order to endear ourselves to the Colton fans. So let's get this sucker going, okay? George R. R. Martin, please write and write faster. You're not going to get any younger, you know. Winter is coming, I'm growing impatient, and you've still got two whole damn books left to go. So write, George, write like the wind. I curse the day that my friend ever loaned me an old dog-eared paperback called Game of Thrones. How could I know that this seed would grow into an addiction that held me right down to my bones? Now five books later, I learn with the masses, indignant, entitled, and waiting forward that the great bearded glacier has finally Published 900 more pages of crack for the nerds. What is every new verse of your song? Keep taking you so goddamn long. George R. R. Martin, please write and write faster. Please give us boiled leather and sigils and seal. We need our allotment of incessant intrigue and six page descriptions of every last meal. So write, George, write like the wind. Lewis took five years to chronicle Narnia. Tolkien had 12 years and Rowling took 10. Lucas spent nearly three decades on Star Wars and we all know how that one turned out in the end. You're not our bitch and you're not a machine and we don't mean to dictate how you spend your days. But please bear in mind in the time that you had, William Shakespeare churned out 35 friggin' plays. And if you keep writing so slow, You'll hold up the HBO show. <laughs> George R. R. Martin, please write and write faster Cause we won't stop whining until we're appeased Crap out the chapters, and George, while you're at it Stop killing our favorite characters, please And write, George, write
like the weed. George R. R. Martin, please write and write faster. I Before you are dead, George, please write like the wind. Thank you. I think they're starting to come over to our side now, Storm. 